Okay, so we've got the RS Pro USB scope uh, out on the bench now, and again, nice little compact unit, ideal for bench work. Two channels, and also comes with uh, two probes. There is also an arbitrary waveform generator built in here. The actual thing itself is powered from the USB port on your computer, so simply download the software, plug in, and away you go. No need for any external power supplies, which is great takes up less space. What you can see here we've basically got a 6 volt peak to peak uh, waveform coming in at 50 Hertz so you can see the trace is nice and clear. The red line here is basically the second channel of the uh, USB oscilloscope so we've got channel 1 in blue and channel 2 in red. So what we're showing obviously channel 1 we're working through a function generator and we're just basically standard waveform into the uh, the interface and then onto the screen. So just watch the screen. I'll change the waveform attribute here. So basically, what I'm going to do now is just turn that into a triangular wave, and you can see it's happened on screen. Let's change back to a sine wave, and you can see now the sine wave's back. So let's have a, a change around and maybe play with some of the functionality on the, the screen itself. So basically, what you have here on screen is your standard oscilloscope interface so you've got your channel inputs here you've got your trigger points etc and there are some things that you can do with however you want to measure the waveform so let's just change something really really simple drop down menu we're going to change the uh, time division to uh, 10 milliseconds per division and you'll see a simple change on the waveform okay so you see that that's expanded the time base is uh, decreased and we'll just change it back okay also, what I'll do here, I'll change the frequency on the function generator, just watch what happens on screen. So, let's have a look. Let's change that into, let's say, 100 hertz. And you can see that the screen has followed suit. Okay, so highly effective for working in R&D in a tight space or even taking it on the go you know when you're out and about and you go to things like I don't know make affairs or you want to do some hands-on type of activity this is an ideal instrument to take lastly we'll finish just with uh, what's happening on channel 2 so what we've got here you can see the size of the scale you know this is the model and this is just a Raspberry Pi and basically what we've done we're just taking off the 5 volt rail here what will happen you'll see this uh, trace on channel 2 jump up to 5 volts Okay, so now you see that the line has now moved up to 5 volts. Actually on this it's between the 4 and the 6, so smack bang in the middle, 5 volts. So your, your input, the way you read this, channel 1 is in blue, channel 2 is in red. So you've got your volts here, your volts here. Remember one is AC and one is DC. Simple, straightforward, easy to use.